Hey guys, you are Scotty coming at you here. Just a quick video for you today. I want to share something that's really, really fun that I've been doing for the last few weeks that uh, I just think is a, a crazy cool resource that I'd like to share with you. A, a, a lot of you already know about this. Uh, what I'm talking about is a software to, uh, defined radio. At web SDR. I'm pretty sure that's what it stands for. A lot of you out there are going to be way more knowledgeable uh, than me on this, but uh, this video is more for people that don't have a shortwave radio or don't have access or don't have the money to invest in radio equipment. You can enjoy shortwave radio and actually every single band of radio, CB, ham radio even. You can listen to ham radio um, through uh, online in real time. The possibilities are liter literally endless. Another advantage of it is the reception is way better. Regular everyday people like, like you and I can use top of the line gear, have access to top of the line um, um, receivers and antennas, stuff that we wouldn't normally um, have even, even if you are a amateur radio, like you're, you're, you're a ham guy or girl, you might not have a, a good setup. So th this is just, you know, uh, an incredible resource. Uh, so I'm going to direct you to two websites. I'll put the links in the description of this video. Another great thing is that you don't have to have any money to enjoy this. And you don't have to download anything. There's no apps. There's no programs. It all just works right in your browser. There's no BS to put up with. And people that put all this stuff together are really enthusiastic and I think it's great for everybody to enjoy their, their hard work because of all the communities that you can get involved with, the uh, amateur radio community is one of the best, if not the best. Every Everybody that's involved with that hobby is like super helpful, always super enthusiastic with newcomers. It's a highly, highly technical skill and pastime, but um, you know, fortunately there's a lot of people that are just like super willing to help out and help you learn and all that kind of stuff. So, I'm going to show you a couple things that I've been up to recently. Um, so let's have a look here. Uh, where am I? Open. I'm actually listening to. I'm listening to some radio right now. This on this website here. This is the University of Twent. Uh, Twenty. I'm not sure how you pronounce that. But this is in the Netherlands. The Faculty for Engineering and Mathematics and Computer Science. Um, this is not coming in so clear now because of the time of day, but earlier I was listening to the Voice of Korea, which is uh, this radio station right here. Uh, this is South Korea's state radio station. And the other great thing about this software design, uh, software divine ra radio, is that you really don't have to know anything about radio to enjoy this. Um, all these, these people that are involved in this hobby, they've labeled all these stations, like really cool stuff. And you can literally just go through the spectrum and click on different things. Um, or you can move the little tuner around yourself. Um, this is called a waterfall. It's basically, um, you know, you can this is you could scroll through the frequencies spectrum and see where the where the enter um well look at this. This is something cool happening here. Um and look at this. Russian pirates. Somebody's labeled this. Heard some Russian pirates here at one time. There's nothing going on there right now. Oh here can Halifax radio. Let's see if you Halifax radio. That's kind of interesting. There's all these uh, cool little sounds and that I have no idea what they are. Uh, also available is all the different modes of listening. Um, CW, upper, lower sideband, upper sideband, AM, FM, AM sync. Those are features that would be uh, included on a more expensive shortwave radio. So you've got access to all those different modes of, um, of transmissions, which really helps out. Um, for instance, actually, I was on upper sideband. If I go back to AM, uh, where was the voice of Korea? Somewhere in the 900s. It's oh, nine. Oh, it's nine eight five two. What? Oh, 
go there. Yeah, let's see, where was that? China Business, Jammer, look at all this cool stuff, China Radio. was that? Where was the voice of Korea? That was cool. Oh, right. KRE, voice of Korea. Let's see. No, it's gone. It's gone. It depends on the time of day. I mean, if you, if you start hearing something that's really interesting, let's say we wanted to record a little bit of uh, this North Korea. All we do is it's interesting, they're playing some music now. We could record that. And save it. And that just goes to your downloads here. Super easy. It's all kinds of cool stuff here though, man. It's like unreal. France. Radio France International right there. Twin TWN, Sound of Hope, RFA. Voice of Vietnam. Cool. Chen Guqiong, Deputy Director of the London Provincial Department of Natural Resources and Environment. Diverse landlord and guiding documents so yeah, so right there we're listening to uh, some station out of uh, Vietnam, which I mean that's super cool. So you're hearing hearing uh, news out of uh, Vietnam, which a sound of hope sort of sounds like a, a bit of um I don't know an edgy political uh, station in English out of Vietnam. So well, there's a lot of cool stuff on here. Um, I'll put a link to this um, this website in the description. Highly recommend to check it out. And also, there are all kinds of other software-defined radio sites on the internet. There's just too many to list, and y you know you can listen to it, anything that you want. Even even like military um, and uh, aviation uh, stations. Um, you know, these guys are geniuses, right? Like, look, they built this, this radio club. They built this car. This is the actual thing that you're using to listen to. The antenna's attached here, and somehow they've built this themselves. Um, and <clears throat> from what I understand, it, it basically samples the entire frequency spectrum of uh, radio spectrum. Um, you know, probably, like thousands of times per second so that's how anybody in the world can basically just um, go on this website and tune in to various different frequencies I'm not sure exactly how it works but it's some kind of stroke of genius that these radio guys have concocted these guys are top-notch super smart super duper smart people so anyways uh, uh, the other page that I'm going to uh, direct you to here that is super duper fun, um, yeah, I'm crazy addictive, is uh, preom.org. And that station is all about documenting number stations. Now, I would highly recommend to check out this uh, website and listen to some number stations because they're, they're kind of quickly disappearing. I think there's only four or five uh, English number station still operating and it's um, you don't have to know anything about radio to, to use this and find these stations these guys have made it so easy for you to listen to this so first of all um, they, they give the um, coordinated universal time here and then they've got a schedule of all the different number stations and you know classifications of stations uh, they've named them um, classified them. If you want to listen, find an English station, you have to find one that starts with the uh, prefix E. Um, now, all the information of how they're classified is available on this website, and you could go down the rabbit hole with this kind of stuff for hours and hours. So, 
So here, current prefixes goes down with all the prefix. Some of these number stations nowadays are using all these digital modes. Um, M is a Morse code number station. Um, e is an English language broadcast. So, you know, um, go back to station schedule. Um, and then, you know, here it says uh, next station in two hours. And it tells you what the station is, and then it gives you a little link. So if you just click on one of those links, let's say we click on this one, it brings you, it searches for the, from what I understand, the, the best uh, software divine radio uh, station, because these are stationed at all points, uh, all areas of the world. So if I just type in my name, you, Ottawa, Scotty, and then we can just click here and and it's automatically typed in the uh, tune the frequency for you and um, oh they got some little tips down here for you uh, so this is just an incredible resource so yeah it's all tuned in so you basically just have to sit there until the uh, station comes up and and you can you can hear it now the first time I, I found out about this website Preom it was about four years ago and I actually made a little video of me using it for the first time and I had I was listening to a number station within two minutes so I might put a little clip of that up just to show you um, I mean you know, not my first time it was like literally you know within hours of discovering that website I, I was recording it and certain times of day where they transmit so I guess these people have been keeping track and it says the next station is broadcasting in a minute this one here hm hm01 is broadcasting on 17480 kilohertz am and that's target for north america so let's see if we can tune in here Okay. And it looks like you could, you know you can There we go. No. There you go. It's a number station. That is really cool. Wow. The other thing about the software defined radio is I just thought about here is uh, on this one you can record. So here uh, you can even if you find something cool you can record it. So you click start. Now you're recording what you're listening to. Stop and save and boom you've got your little recording there downloaded so I mean there's there's absolutely no reason not to enjoy this stuff I mean I mean it's it, I can't I, there, I can't put into one video all the possibilities of what what's available online but um, is really fun and, and super super interesting I mean I can't believe some of the stuff you can hear on here um, so yeah, these these are all these these SDRs are all over the world, various parts of the world. There are hundreds of them, and all run by radio amateurs, uh, radio am amateur radio clubs, completely free. And it's just uh, an incredible resource. So I said, get out there and and get listening, and try and listen to some number stations too. It's 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 a fascinating thing. 
you know, if you if you're listening to a number station, yeah, you know, the the it's a very real possibility that that there's a spy or uh, an agent in another country uh, writing down those numbers and decoding them and um, passaging passing messages back and forth to their homeland. Spy, it's for spies. <laughs> um, and uh, that's a real thing. I mean, there's uh, a few spies that have been caught that way. Uh, one that comes to mind uh, was a spy in the United States, one of the worst cases actually, um, Anna Montes. Um, so uh, Anna Montes was uh, an American spying for Cuba using a uh, Cuban number station. So if you want to go down the rabbit hole of some pretty cool spy craft, like all that stuff, I love that stuff. Everybody loves that stuff. I mean, uh, check out Anna Montez. That's a, a really great story. And she was actually convicted. Um, they actually used uh, the number station as evidence in court to, uh, to prove that she was spying and, and convicted her on that. So there's spies listening to these number stations all the time. So check it out. It's super fun. Um, yeah, that's my video for today. Uh, one other thing I should mention is because I'm not an expert, maybe in the comments section, if you have anything to add to this video that you'd like people to know about um, software defined radio or shortwave radio that would be helpful for newcomers, and look, be sure to put it in the comments section. Or if you have questions, put those in the comments section, and maybe we can kind of get a bit of a discussion going um, about. Uh, this and uh, have some fun, uh, super fun, uh, cra crazy. You know, I, I, I feel like the internet is an awful place most of the time, but this is the kind of stuff that the internet really was made for. <laughs> and there are certain communities, uh, people that are, uh, you know, really helpful and band together and, and have ideas of how to use the internet in creative ways and um, uh, to, to be. To, to use the internet in, in, in cool ways, and, and this is a perfect example. Um, I mean, that pre um community there, they've, from what I can see, they've, they've got their members all stationed all over uh, the world in, in various different places, and you could see where each person is, and it says what frequency uh, band they're, they're listening to, and they're probably assigned, you know, a certain time of, of day to listen to that, and that's how they log all those stations. So a lot of time and effort goes into logging them and classifying them and when they're coming up, and they got people listening all over the world every day, and uh, really it's just a f phenomenal community. I can't believe that there's people that, you know, devote so much time and effort into that. So uh, enjoy that while you can, because there may be a time in the very near future where we can't hear any more number stations. So I'll finish this video off. Yeah, I think that's all uh, All I want to say about that, but um, I hope everybody's doing good out there and uh, enjoy and uh, enjoying life. Yeah, we'll talk to you soon. You Auto Scotty out for now. We'll see you guys soon.